Rudy Peterson in on the shot. He's got the two-point takedown immediately. And we are underway here. Again, shortened first periods. This is a consolation match. So one minute first period. And Peterson gets the takedown against Courier. Working from the left side. He's wrapped around the leg there, trying to reach over control and arm. Near the edge of the mat, they'll slip out of bounds. So with 30 seconds left here in the first period, Courier will jump back into the referee's position. Peterson will jump on the left side. It's a sit out, but gets dropped down onto a hip. Sterling freshman making his way back into the referee's position. Getting mashed down by Peterson. Courier trying to make his way back up to his base position. Comes up in, was looking for a headlock. Turned back in, but got tackled back down to the mat. And the first period comes to a close. Sterling freshman Austin Courier trailing two zip. Freshman against senior, sometimes a rough go. Yep, Courier just a freshman, 13 and nine, and Peterson 39 and seven coming in here in this consolation match. There's a reversal, and Courier will go down four to zip. Potentially dangerous as Peterson lifted that left arm up a little bit too high. Uh, that's one that to me looks like the uh, illegal hold when you get that chicken wing right up there on the top of the shoulder almost. Courier makes his way up onto his feet but then gets driven right back down. Peterson lost a major decision to A.J. Reese from Discovery Canyon 10 to 2 to drop down to the consolation side here. Uh, he's got it up there again. Peterson working that left arm. Minute 15 to go in the second period. Trying to step around the head. Courier trying to keep his head turned away and not give it to him. He lifted up too high again. Yep. Well, he didn't signal potentially dangerous or illegal hole. No, he didn't. He just blew the whistle as. A lot of different interpretation of the rules at times. <laughs> really gets confusing. You go up to a college match and they're wrestling. It looks like they're five feet out of bounds and they're still going. That, and they don't care if you got a joint or not. <laughs> High school wrestling rules are designed to protect the wrestlers. College, if you don't like it, I guess you're supposed to turn over. <laughs> 40. Seems like that at times. <laughs> Definitely a different level. 40 seconds left in the second period. Here comes a half Nelson coming around from the right side against Courier, but he's able to peel that off the back of his neck. Now the left arm gets barred up. And Peterson trying to walk around the head of the Sterling freshman. He's got both arms barred and he's trying to settle it back. Courier keeping the left shoulder up off the mat. 18 seconds left in the second. And I'm not sure how far he got tilted over. I don't know, how, not even far enough for back points. Both arms barred back and tilted over, but no back points. So it's a pretty good job by Courier to not give in and give up the points. Well, he'll be down by four going into the third period. Listening to state, the 2011 Colorado High School State Wrestling Tournament here on 1010 KSIR, Brush Fort Morgan, 94.5 KRFD Marino, and of course online at KSIRsports.com. Courier's going to ride in the final two minutes here, trailing four zip. Trying not to end his season right here. Loser of this match will conclude the 2010 and 11 season. Courier with an arm bar. And I thought he had a half Nelson on the far side. I just don't know how you can make that work. <laughs> yeah, when, you, when you're wrapped around all the way on the left side, trying to come back around on the right side, unless you have really long arms. It's tough to get any leverage on that. <laughs> Courier continues to ride, loses that 
loses that arm bar on the left side. Here comes Peterson, turned back in towards him. Peterson's got a hold of a single leg, and Courier trying to block him out. He's trying to sprawl away from it. Minute 10 in the match. Peterson driving into him with a, a bow and arrow position. The left arm up around the neck on the right knee, and he is able to get the reversal. So the Sterling freshman now down six to zip. Down to 50 seconds left in the, in the match and possibly the season for the Sterling freshman here. This first round consolation match. Do or die matches here in this round. Ready for us one, match number three. Class 4A, 125 pounds. Matt Courier not able to get a whole lot going on. Down to 27 seconds left. There's a caution for stalling. Goes against Peterson. 27 seconds left in the match. Sterling's Austin Courier trailing by a score of six to zip. Not a lot off the whistle by Courier. He gets dragged down onto his side, trying to make his way to his base position. And we'll get another stop. I would say he's signal of flight. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't signal, the official doesn't give us whether that's a potentially dangerous or what exactly it is. He just stops it. Here's Courier on to his feet with less than 10 seconds left in the match. See if he can at least score a point here. Trying to break free, but Peterson hanging on to an ankle, and that's how the match is going to end. So Austin Courier will lose. Six to zip will be the final score. And the tournament comes to a close for the 